zebras like carrots and apples. Run away, run away. I enjoy working on rainy days like this. It brings about a whole other set of behaviors and you see a whole different level of activity. Here are zebras. <laughs> We had to stop because it was zebra crossing. This is the best spot in Spry Park to see our Grevy zebra herd. There are three different species of zebra, but the Grevies are endangered. In general, I don't think people realize that there's an endangered species of zebra. The fact that the Grevy zebra are here, and the guests can see them on a tour, then people are more apt to want to take action and support us in our conservation. Pellet is usually the first thing that I feed out because it's the highest desired item. Hi, guys. Grevy zebras are the largest species of zebra. They're the most solitary. Male Grevy zebras have a territory that they maintain rather than having a, a group of females that they watch over. And they have the largest territory of any equine species, and their territory can be about 10 square miles. We have a lot of space, and so we can mimic that as close as possible. So Bakari is right there. He is a Grevy zebra that last year was brought from the San Diego Zoo to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. He was brought here so he could be the new male sire for our Grevy zebra herd. Bakari is set up to be very successful because he has his own territory like he would in his natural environment. So when Bakari came up here for breeding purposes, it was due to their species survival plan. And that program will match up species from different zoos and aquariums so that they can make sure that we get a nice, healthy gene pool. Bakari is doing exactly what we want him to do. Males chase the females around, and then they'll mount. Hi. Leah, who's giving us a nice side view, she's pregnant. You can see how big and round that belly is. And then the one that's all the way to the right, she's pregnant. Grevy zebras have the longest gestation term of any equine species, and it's about 390 days. Good job! Right now we have five Grevy zebras that are pregnant, and they are due to give birth in about two to three months. All right, bye. <laughs> they got tired of apples. <laughs> I need backup. We're going to process it. Oh, is it down there? Yeah. Processing zebras are very difficult because they can be up and running close to full speed within 30 minutes of birth. Can someone grab the umbilicus kit? Because we need to clean it first. Okay. Ideally, we see the birth and we go in and process right away. Yeah, yeah, right I away. think we're good. OK. okay. Someone watching, Mom? Okay. Once the foal hits the ground, we process them, which means we will examine the foal. Yep, umbilicus. We'll sex the foal. It's a boy. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Make sure everything looks nice and healthy. All right, buddy. It looks like mom's coming. <laughs> there is a good mama. Good morning. <laughs> It's been a very exciting couple of months with our zebra herd. Leah had the first foal, which was born two months ago. And that is her foal, 94. 
Leah came from another facility and that was her name. Here at the park, because we have so many more zebras and our herd is larger, we tend to name them with numbers. She has done a wonderful job. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Come here. Do you want an apple? They don't normally get apples because they're nursing. So it's kind of like an extra treat for them. You're such a good mama. There you go. Leah has preferences. She doesn't really like food when it's been on the ground. So she's more, let me get a nice, clean, fresh apple. If she's friendly and if she's willing to come up to us because we have that relationship, then you have situations like this where the foal is learning from her mom and that can be beneficial for long term. So this is Leah at 94. And then about a month later, we had 87 who had 95. We're starting to see them spend more time together and they'll go and explore their habitat. They'll play and their moms will get the much needed break while keeping a close eye on their foals. You guys are doing awesome. Go after, there you go, go get her. <laughs> All right, guys. When zebra foals are born, moms will move away from the herd and give birth in isolation. So they want to make sure that they can just concentrate on the newborn foal. Oh my gosh, look at that cute little face. She's so tiny. She's got long legs and big ears. It's adorable. Hi, Mama. That is 87, and her full, 95. And then you have 90 with her full kind of to the back. So this is some great natural behavior that we're seeing. She's doing a good job. They're all doing a good job. <laughs> oh, look at that right there, nursing and everything. Good job, Mom. It's fulfilling and it's, it's exciting to see that they're all doing so well and that they're breeding well. Look at those years. I get to do something I love, and that is something to be grateful for. She's so cute. We know that humans in general have a soft spot for baby animals. Those babies are so cute, and people want to learn more about them. That's our opportunity and, of course, our responsibility then to take that guest on the journey to learn more about the species. The babies of an endangered species represent another step towards our goal, to make safe populations and, and protect this wildlife. Babies are basically a representation of conservation moving forward. Yes, admire the baby, it's cute, but it's also so important for the future of the species.